right, hello to my international friends. Now I'm again with you, your Russian helmet whisperer, and uh, just want to show you this uh, shiny metal heavyweight German World War One helmet, uh, 1917 model. Uh, it's just uh, caught in the middle, you know. And uh, let's consider this video just like an interim report uh, on this project. Uh, just want to show you uh, the, uh, the the exact situation with this helmet. Uh, it was just uh, welded uh, over and over again and again, and just grinded it and grinded it and grinded it again and again. And uh, here you may see the flat metal shiny and uh, uh, very smooth outer surface here. But uh, on the edge of the helmet you may see the dents uh, just left uh, from the last uh, processes. There are many of them, a lot of them. And uh, at this moment I just uh, need to Oh, well, the here and in these places again and again, and here and also here, and uh, another side, left side of the helmet here, also here, just to uh, to make more metal to add here uh, metal, and then right after then I will just grinding. Uh, and then the, the, uh, it to, to, to make it uh, also smooth like here. Um, so uh, if you like this uh, interim report on this project, please uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, also I would like to know your opinions. Uh, on this uh, way of restoring, on this uh, way of uh, uh, making making helmets or whispering with helmets, you know, it, it was just original, uh, and it also it stays original German uh, World One uh, One helmet, and uh, I'm just trying to restore it from rusty um, rusty brown. A lightweight uh, rest of the helmet to heavyweight, uh, shiny, uh, new metal on the surface. On the surface here, outer, and the, you may see the original metal here, just scrap steel for German beginning of the last century, 1917 model, and uh, it will be also make uh, made of smooth. You know, sorry for my uh, Russian accent and my Russian explanation. Um, I'm just uh, just excited of this process and just want you to show uh, how do they do it, how I'm doing it, and um, also would like to know your opinions, um, people. You know, um, because uh, as far as I know, nobody. Uh, in internet, no one else uh, does uh, the restoration as I do. So um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Please uh, uh, help me uh, to understand it if if it uh, really does. So um, again, it was just cut in the middle, and um, I want to just follow this, this project. Uh, and uh, it goes very slowly, very hard work, you know. Um, my hands at the end of the day just shaking like this because of uh, grinding machine. It just uh, vib uh, vibrating very, very, very uh, heavy, and um, also the welding process is uh, on this uh, narrow place of my uh, home uh, workshop. Uh, not so comfortable, but I trying to do this, to do this best of it, and uh, trying to do my best, and just also learning for these uh, technical and technological processes uh, during the project. 
and uh, discovering some uh, interesting things and uh, uh, just want to fulfill this project and uh, make it finish like brand new but it will be uh, not a new made uh, piece of helmet but original restored uh, item uh, thank you very much for watching this video please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends uh, with your colleagues and uh, with your mates um, see you later